I hit some rocky roads before I met the candy man. I dated some real nerds, some real duds, but the candy man was a stud. He was my lifesaver. He gave me his Hershey kisses. I gave him my cinnamon heart, and together we made sweet almond joy. Boy, oh boy, he was a hot tamale, and the loving was good and plenty. I was a bit chunky, a real rollo, but he never called me a hubba bubba. He didn't mind my tootsie rolls, so I just eat more. He quenched my thirst and I made his pop rocks pop. He was Wonder Bar, real smarty, and I wanted s'more. He just snickers and says he scored when he met me. I was on cloud nine and I made him mine. He was a bit of a nut bar, but I didn't mind because he was Mr. Big. Oh, Henry, take a ride on the Milky Way to Mars. But then along came Baby Ruth, followed by a few more Sour Patch Kids and a house full of Kit Kats. And that's when the double bubble burst and things only got worse. Now the candy man wants a break, wants to break away, says he can't stay. He's not happy with one woman anymore. He wants a new cherry blossom or a bridge mixture, says he wants to go his own way. And then one day he left. And that's when the crunch came down, the crispy crunch. I had a hunch he was rapping to m and CDs and hanging with his marshmallow peeps. He was giving me the creeps. He was smoking licorice pipes and Popeye cigarettes. That's not a Popeye cigarette. Perhaps <laughs> Willie's gone a little wonka. And that's when I started reading chiclet and eating peppermint patties all day. The man will pay. I'll hurl Easter cream eggs at his house on Halloween. That would be a scream. But instead, I just sat home and ate all the candy. I'd like to be a jawbreaker, break his butter fingers, or kick him in the whatchamacallit, because he's no longer my gummy bear, and I don't care anymore. And he's seeing that sweet Marie the hoe. I know, but I don't care, because I got me Cracker Jack. <laughs> and Bazooka Joe. <laughs> From the Guelph Slam team, please welcome Beth Ann Ellipsis. Hey, everyone. Hey, I got a poem for you. So I was reading this book, and uh, the author directly challenged the reader, who was me at the time, to write a poem about what it is to be a woman. So I thought, compelled by this challenge. Never been outright called out by an author before. <laughs> uh, so this is what I came up with, and it's called Womanifesto. Lady, you are hot. Lady, you are a fine creation. Birth across this earth by means of breath, the soil, and the cosmos. Lady, you are. Lady, you are artist, creative mind and sexual opus. You are smoke, a gray wisp, dancing slowly, carrying prayers and dreams up. Smoke, a lit cigarette inhaled, oh so sexy. Smoke rolled in your mouth and exhaled with your tongue up. Smoke, you are the color of crushed paint behind eyelashes. Smoke, you smell like cedar in the beginning of time. You are woman. Shells and seeds dangle from earlobes. Silver on wrists, leather fringe, crimson lips. Moist with lipstick made from the blubber of ocean whales. We wear this earth, women. We wrap ourselves in saris. Pull on in a moti. Cut t-shirts into DIY punk rock and rock and roll grunge. Lady, you are dignified in your pantsuit. Clickety-clack heels in mind, debating with the corporate powers. Woman, you are hard. Hands and feet callous mine from walking and holding. You are a family politician and community leader, a yellow palm stained cook, the soothing voice of mother and lover. Woman, you are soft. Can't cuddle close enough to you skin on skin. Soft, you are water, you are breath. <sighs> Left with the inheritance of your ancestors your parents, the good, the bad, the sad, and the scary. You carry this globe on your hips and you push. Push, push, push to hear voice. 
Woman, you are international traveling sister. A blending of South America and the Caribbean, England and Africa, Cree and Ireland, Tibet and anywhere and any place you can think of mixed. Woman, you are mixed. Mixed blood, mixed emotions, mixed up and defiant. A shaken not stirred, dirty martini and a blueberry smoothie. Woman, you are sweet. Woman, you are bitter. You are sour and you are savory. You encapsulate every taste that our buds can devour but you are more one taste than another. You are someone's favorite taste, and you taste better with some than you taste with others' taste. Ladies, this is something you have, so choose lovers and friends of greatness. Lovers and friends, be passionate. Nothing fills me more than listening to someone speak with such vigor that it seems they will burst with excitement. Lay their life down in the name of. Passion is the opposite of you have no personality and boring. So tell me, what is your uniqueness? Spill the gift that runs through you. Exchange passion. Women, we are Vandana Shiva, Maud Barlow, D.B. Young, and Nina Simone. We are women. Wake up in the morning and get to know you. Where are you? And you will be indisputably gorgeous. Ladies and gentlemen from the Guelph Slam team, please welcome Blaze. First, I just want to thank um, Words Aloud Festival for running this and giving us the opportunity to come out here and let our, like, have our voices heard. Am I so easily forgotten? Today I watched the sunrise and your ab absence blew truth into my ear. Today, I came to the realization that no body he is the same when the imprint left in the ground beside me is uniquely yours. That night we watched the stars, your body becoming a constellation. I guess it was my fault. I couldn't draw us together. Because you see, I let you leave, walking away with stolen memories, and I guess we just kind of happened. One of those nights where actions are driven by passion, primal instinct, noses kiss through touch, no words are landing like meteorites in deaf ears. And I keep wondering if last night were just my imagination playing tricks on me. Only last night was two months ago. And I keep searching the skies, wishing on every star, but none of them shine as bright as you, no matter how hard they kiss. People come like shooting stars, flying across night skies, visible to the naked eye, leaving us in pleasurous moments of ecstasy, but when they shoot away, they leave trails of stardust for us to follow, glitter on pillows, morning after evening, is bringing back to moments upon touching his breath, becoming my breath, and the stardust is the only breath I breathe in. I will remember his words. I will keep it in the back of my mind for those moments when I will look up and all I can see is darkness. They will hold light far after you have shot away, leaving me in a deafening silence so much that my body wants to explode every time my mind creeps to you, every time I look up and see another spark of what could have been. Maybe if I could have connected the dots between us, your words will still be sending shivers down my spine, playing a symphony, creating vibratos across my rib cage. I wanted to give you my heart. It was just too young to understand the stars, so you left me with my fingers tracing the spots where you should still be. So tonight, I will look up at the stars, wait for the sunrise, and ask them if you have forgotten me. Thank you. <laughs> 